Picasso. How are you guys? I'm doing fantastic. Today, I thought we would make something very special that is known to have come from South America. I'm going to show you what it is. Now listen. Hmm, do you know what this is? It's very subtle. If you don't know what this is, this is called a rain stick. And they used to use rain sticks in all parts of South America and even other parts of the world to try and get rain. Because we know that rain is good for the environment and good for the crops. So they would make rain sticks out of natural materials that they had in the jungles and they would fill it with little Mm, sand or little rocks or whatever they could find and they would usually use some sort of tree with a hollowed out center. So today we're going to make our own version of a rain stick with stuff that we hopefully have around the house. So let's talk about some things that you're going to need before we start. The first thing you're going to need is a um, paper towel roll. The bigger it is the better. The next thing you're going to need is a piece of paper. It could be any color. Mine is white. You can use whatever color you have. You will also need some tape, some glue, some markers or some uh, crayons. Now, the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need something to fill the rain stick with. In this case, I got lentils. So ask your parents if they have some rice, lentils, some small like stelline pasta or something very small. If you can't find anything, you could even use some dirt from outside. So ask your parents what you can use before you start. A few other things that we need. Uh, we need some additional paper. Now, we're not going to use this entire piece of paper. So uh, you could use part of the piece of paper because we need to cover the two ends. I chose this because it's a little bit uh, thicker paper, but you could do it with the paper that you have. Um, last thing is we have a wooden spoon or something similar, doesn't really matter what it is, but something with a long um, handle, and two pieces of tin foil about this big. Okay, so I think that's everything. Oh, and some scissors. I think that's everything that we're going to need to start. So once you get all of that stuff, then we're ready to go. So we're going to first decorate our drawing. Now, since it's the rainforest, I thought it would be appropriate to do some animals from the rainforest. So I've already done mine and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So my piece of paper was the same size as this, right? But I cut off part of it because we don't need the whole thing to wrap around here. But look at what I drew. Do you know what this is? It's a crocodile. So I put a crocodile, I put a toucan, I put a butterfly, I even put a snake in the tree and some rocks in the sun. Now you can do whatever you like, but preferably something that is South American. So maybe some animals, some trees, some flowers, insects, anything you want, you're gonna decorate your paper. Now look at what I did. Your paper is like this. You're gonna only use part of it. So I will cut off the end because you won't see all of this if you use the whole paper. Now for those of you, who are using one piece of paper, this is the part that you will do your circles on. Now for this, what I did was I got a cup, I turned it upside down, and I traced around the cup. The reason why is because these will go on the top and the bottom of the toilet paper roll or paper towel roll. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna draw your picture and the second thing you will do is you will find a cup or something to make two circles like this. Okay, so once you've done that, we're good for now. Now, with this piece of paper, you're gonna turn it to the side and we're gonna glue it on to our roll. So I'm gonna put 
kind of a lot of glue because I don't want it to come off. Make sure you get the ends. Those are important. All right, so now, and don't worry if your paper doesn't go all the way to the very ends, that is okay. There we go. See why I didn't use the entire piece of paper? Because even like this, you couldn't see all of it. All right, so we glue that on. We put that to the side. Then we take our two circles and we're gonna cut them out. Okay. All right, there's one. And there is two. All right, now, let's get this guy so it doesn't dry out. So we'll put all of our scraps to the side. Now, what we need to do is we need to cover up one end because if we start putting stuff in, it's just gonna come out the bottom, right? So you take your circle and you probably are gonna need a little bit of help with this. So you're gonna kind of scrunch it around the top like so, and then you're gonna take your piece of tape and you're gonna close it up. I would definitely say that the glue stick is not gonna hold as well as if you have some scotch tape. So get some scotch and get someone to help you. Get a big piece and this is much easier if you have a helper, but we're gonna tape it on like this. Mine's gonna be a little bunchy because I don't have another set of hands. Where's Giovanni when I need him, right? Okay, now you can see I didn't quite get that side, so all of my lentils will come flying out if I don't cover it up all the way. All right, so once that is on and you've checked it, you could even put an elastic band on if you want to add some additional closure. So here is one end of ours closed up. Now with these, what you're gonna do, you're gonna just fold them into kind of a long snake and we're gonna wrap it around our spoon. Just like that. We make kind of a spiral shape and then we pull it off. So do you see how it kind of has a spiral pattern here? Voila. We're gonna put that right inside and then we're gonna do it one more time. Now the reason why is so that when we put in the lentils, it gets caught in these and makes kind of a nicer sound like rain. The whole goal is for it to sound like rain. So even if you don't have tin foil, you can even put like some cotton balls in there or even some other pieces of paper. You could scrunch up the paper and put those in. So we're gonna put that in there like that. Now our lentils or whatever you're using, rice maybe, are gonna go inside. Oh, did you hear that? That's kind of cool. Woo! I like the sound of that. Okay. So, I think that's probably enough. Now for closing the top. Let's see if I can do it a little bit better this time and I'll get my tape ready. All right. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so we close up our other end. Okay, my second piece of tape. Okay, so hopefully I closed up both ends and nothing comes flying out. You might want to check before you start shaking it. But the rain stick is very soft. Ah, 
Do you see my crocodile? It's kind of relaxing, don't you think? So that's the rain stick. Now, hopefully, you guys had a fun time doing these rain sticks and you can use them to make a little music. And maybe you'll even get some rain. Who knows? Anyway, thanks so much for listening and I hope you guys have a great afternoon. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.